Hi, I'm Mario Vitale, and here we are at Lupa. We are going to make a dish called Garganelli with oxtail ragu. It is delicious. Understand that truly understanding a great recipe is to just understand the repetitive nature of the motions, putting the things in the pan, walking them through it. Don't read, pay attention. Today we're gonna to be doing a garganelli with oxtail ragu. It's one of our classic dishes here at Lupa. If you are adventurous and you can get yourself an entire oxtail with the fat on, with the, the tendon of connective tissue, then you can clean it up a little bit yourself. We put the oxtail in a brine solution, salt, sugar, flavorings uh, for up to two days. Next step would be chopping carrot, celery, onions. Um, pretty small, so they, um, they're gonna remain in there, so they add a little bit of body and texture to the dish, as well as uh, making a sofrito. So the sofrito is, is carrot, celery, onion, um, blitzed up very fine, so we put it into a food processor. So it's a very, very, almost like a paste, mixed with olive oil and slowly cooked about 200 to 250 degrees. We begin by taking a heavy bottom Dutch oven, putting it over medium high heat. Add a little bit of olive oil just before the smoke point. We put in our oxtail just to get a good little breast over it. We sear off all the meat, remove that. We're gonna add our mirepoix, carrot, celery, and onion. Do a little saute of that and then add a white wine. I'm gonna reduce that down a little bit, so just before it's dry. We can start to add the rest of our ingredients. Some sofrito goes in there. We add tomato basic sauce, whole cherry tomatoes. Everything is stirred together. At that point, you add the oxtail back into the pan. You have a little bit more space, you can add a little bit of water. Bring that up to a boil and reduce that down. Let it uh, go uncovered, simmering for a couple hours so the meat is very tender and it's separating from the bone. Two to one flour to egg yolks. Just the yolks in this recipe. A little bit of olive oil. So it's very important to use double zero flour when making pasta. Roll out the garganelli as thin as possible. At that point, you have a big rectangular piece. Um, just using a pizza cutter or a knife, cut it into equal size squares using a little wooden board. And any kind of straw or you know, a hollowed out pen would work really well just to roll that out into the tube shape or the quill shape garganelli pasta. Once the meat's completely falling off the bone, you wanna take it out, you pick off all the meat, discard the bones. So once you remove the meat, you wanna add that back to your sauce. So you've got the fresh pasta, cooks very quickly. You've got your finished sauce, put that into a little bit of pan, put a little bit of butter in there, kind of brings the sauce together. We finish it with uh, fresh parsley, and celery leaves, and the orange zest. Um, pasta goes into the pan, a little bit of the cooking water. Fold in a little bit of cheese. Uh, whenever you add cheese, it should always be the last thing, it should always be off of the heat. And then you're finished, you have your completed garganelli with oxtail ragu.